Okay, students, let's get started with O levels and IGCSE pass papers for kinetic molecular theory. Use the relationship between pressure, force, and area to explain why it is harder to cut something with a blunt knife than with a sharp knife. So, what will we say here? A sharp knife, a sharp knife has a smaller area, a smaller area and this causes the pressure to increase this causes the pressure to increase why this causes the pressure to increase why because pressure is inversely proportional to area and as pressure increases it becomes hence it becomes easier hence hence it becomes easier it becomes easier to cut with a sharp knife to cut with a sharp knife simple as that experimental measurements on gas pressures were made by robert boyle okay he showed that p1v1 is equal to p2v2 and other representation of boyle's law state two quantities that must must remain constant when this equation is used temperature must remain constant and what is the second thing temperature must remain constant and what is the second thing that must remain constant mass of the gas must remain constant must remain constant let's further move ahead figure 5.1 shows the molecules of a gas as the volume of the gas is halved can you see the space between the molecule has decreased yes the equation suggests that when the volume of a gas halves, the pressure doubles. Use ideas about molecules, explain why this happens. Very, very easy. So you can say molecules, molecules move closer to each other. Molecules move closer to each other. This causes, this causes the collision frequency to double why double because the pressure is doubling this causes the collision frequency to double to double the force doubles the force doubles and hence the resulting pressure doubles as well hence the resulting pressure doubles as well simple as that nothing complicated let's move on to the next question an experiment is carried out to find how the pressure of a fixed mass of air at room temperature varies with volume okay how is pressure varying with volume is shown in this diagram okay figure 3.1 shows the apparatus used the syringe is sealed at one end and the Piston is free to move up and down as different metal weights are used. Okay. So the piston is free to move. It is sealed at one end. Okay. 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 Anything else that I'm missing here? No. State what? State the unit in which pressure is, pressure is measured. Pascals. Okay. Figure 3.2 shows the axis for a graph of pressure against volume for the air in this range. Okay. One point is already plotted. We have to complete the graph. This is at pressure P naught and volume V naught. If the pressure doubles, the volume will half. If the volume doubles, the pressure will half. So you can draw a graph like this. You can draw a graph like this. Obviously, this should meet the points. So somewhat like this. This is your graph. Let's move ahead to the next question. More metal weights are placed on the top of the syringe. Explain how the molecules of air inside the syringe are able to support more metal weights. If you keep on applying more metal weights, how will the syringe or how will the gas inside? How will this gas inside? Basically, if you keep on applying more weights, how will the gas inside support more metal weights? Very, very easy. 
as you increase the metal weights what will happen as metal weights increase what will happen the volume decreases volume decreases as volume decreases what will happen the collision frequency frequency increases and as the collision frequency increases what will happen the upward force increases as the upward force will increase what will happen as the upward force increases what will happen the molecules of air will be will be able to sustain more and more weights more and more weights simple as that nothing complicated here let's further move ahead or uh, uh, and one more thing if it wasn't clear i have written these uh, answers in terms of arrows up and down that means increases decreases in examination you have to write the entire word either increase decrease okay uh, i have done this to save you guys time because most of you will be seeing these past paper videos at the end of your uh, preparation and you will have less time by then figure 3.1 shows a helium cylinder used at a fun fair to inflate balloons that float in the air okay initially all the helium in stored in the cylinder is at a pressure of this this is your p1 okay when no more balloons can be filled all the helium occupies a total volume of this this is your v2 and is at a pressure of this p2 okay the temperature of the gas remains unchanged that means boyle law will be applied calculate stating the formula used the initial volume of the helium we have to calculate v1 which formula will we apply we will say p1 v1 is equals to p2 v2 what is your p1 2 into 10 raised to the power of 7 into v1 is equals to what is p2 1 into 10 raised to the power of 5 into v2 that is 1.8 Can you calculate the answer? Yes, you can surely do that. One into ten raised to the power of five into one point eight divided by your value two into ten raised to the power of seven. This volume comes out to be volume V one comes out to be one second. Volume V one comes out to be nine one second. This comes out to be zero point zero nine, zero point double zero nine, zero point double zero nine meter cube. Simple as that. Let's further move ahead. <coughs> the balloon seller takes the cylinder back to the helium supplier, and it is refilled. The mass of the helium is this. Calculate the density of the helium in the cylinder. Den density is equal to mass over volume. Mass is zero point three. Your volume is zero point zero zero nine. So let's do one thing. Point three divided by your answer. The density comes out to be thirty three kg m minus three. Simple as that. Ah, thirty three kg m minus three, not a slash. If you are putting a slash, then you will write m raised to the power of cube or three. The mass of the empty cylinder is sixteen kg. The mass of the helium was zero point three kg. Okay, suggests why weighting the cylinder is not an accurate method of determining the amount of helium supplied because the mass of helium, the mass of helium, is negligible or less. Mass of helium is negligible or a small fraction compared to the overall mass of the cylinder. a small fraction compared to the overall to the overall mass of cylinder simple as that let's move on to the next question a saucepan of water is placed on an electric hot plate and the water is brought to the boil okay as the water boils it changes from liquid to gas describe in terms of molecules three ways in which a gas differs from a liquid a gas has 
you can write the molecules the molecules of gas are in random motion are in random motion basically they have no fixed motion the force of attraction the force of attraction between gas molecules between gas molecules gas molecules is less than liquid is less than liquid than liquid or you can say negligible is also the correct word the third difference is what the distance between the gas molecules the distance between the gas molecules between the gas molecules is much greater compared to the liquid is much greater compared to the liquid compared to the liquid let's move on to the last question in order to keep the liquid boiling it is necessary to keep the hot plate switched on explain why energy must be supplied in order to turn a liquid at its boiling point into a gas energy is used to utilize energy is used to break the intermolecular forces of attraction or you can say energy is utilized to break the bonds energy is used to break the intermolecular forces of attraction simple as that and you can further write energy is used to break the intermolecular forces of attraction and this causes this causes the distance this causes the distance between the molecules to increase between the molecules to increase simple as that nothing complicated